to hop on here just because I want to test my sound and see if this records or not. Because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm actually going to play a little music. I'm just on here because you know what? I don't like recording. It's like somehow once some, ugh, if I also don't like that my dryer goes off, right? I'm doing this, so stay tuned. Yay, it worked. My dryer was broken and now it's working. Okay. So I had to run a test. I don't like recording because it's like once you record and you post something out there on YouTube or what on your Facebook or Instagram, it's there forever. And sometimes I have so many things I want to talk about and share about life and things I'm learning and experiencing the love of God in incredible ways. And I don't do it because it just goes out there. And then I don't feel like myself when I'm on here sometimes. And I don't know. I don't love that. But I'm also going to play Spotify in the background and see if it gets picked up on here. Because I've been doing some meditation stuff on here. And it's not picking up when I play it through the computer. Something funky's happened. So I'm just going to see like if this works. Let's do it. See if I can play that and if I'll be able to hear it in the background. I'm just gonna kind of set it here next to my microphone. Peaceful sound. You know, I wanna get on here more often and we'll see if I get myself to do that because I am in a season where I'm spending a lot of time alone. And I am looking for full-time work. I'm trying to really decide if I want to go back to work and have a steady income with benefits. But my time is very limited to work on the things then that I really love to do, which is share with other people, connect with people, guide, coach, meditation, yoga, um, prayer, and um, EFT, emotional freedom technique and tapping, and RMR, rapid mind renewal, Holy Spirit guided healing time and so many other things writing and sharing so i am stuck so if you would pray about that with me that would be amazing i know that the right thing will unfold in due time but i get anxious because you guys i'm in a season of a lot of alone time like i said since june of this year um i'm going through some major life transition and in 33 years, I haven't lived on my own, and now I am. And without going into a lot of detail on that, and there's no need to jump to bad conclusions. It's where we are. It's what we're doing. And um, making the most of very, very hard things. And living loved in the process. but also just dealing with the pain of that. And man, the thing is when you put stuff out there and the whole world can listen to it, you don't wanna say a whole lot of things, but yet also wanna be an encouragement. And I guess that was my point of mentioning why I like to get on here is because when we are in seasons, because we all experience stuff that's hard, right? And when we go through times of more isolating, whether it's intentional or your heart just protects itself, um, or you don't feel like explaining things to people, it's really easy to get in your head. And then sometimes that's not a good conversation to have. And you need to speak out the things that Go through your mind with other people or just speaking them out and catching what isn't life-giving and what is and uh, magnifying the things that are life-giving and minimizing the things that are not and shifting our focus. Um, I think about Colossians 3, 2, where it set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth for what is seen or in the five senses, right? In that sense, um, in the natural realm, they're temporary. 
versus we can shift our gaze to what is unseen, just like energy or just like um, the wind, these things that we know that are there, but we don't see them, but we see the power that they hold. And that is like the spiritual realm with God. There is so much life there when I just am still and I get my mind off the circumstance and set my heart to open on the areas where it's been closed off and allow him to come in and nurture it and love me and hold me and speak life into me. And then to be able to share that and encourage other people that, you know what, when we're in times of dry seasons or, oh my gosh, challenges and growth, and not that I would not say that God, uh, you know, even allows these things as much as he's with us. I will be with you even to the ends of the earth. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He will always hold us and see us and see the best and see us as he sees us, as we are created to be, whether we're experiencing it or not. But the more I remember the indwelling presence of the living God in me. And remember, I'm not alone. I can live and I can hear and I can remember who I am. You guys, it changes everything. So in these times that I don't think he even says, oh, I allow these for your growth. Because, you know, like John 10, 10, the enemy came to still kill and destroy, right? But I came to give life and give it abundantly. He wants life. He wants wholeness. He wants marriage. He wants love. He wants, you know, everything that is good for us. But he's going to be with us, use it. You know, that whole, what is it? Romans eight twenty eight using things for our good. I mean, there's so much, but there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And I am in Christ. I have union with the living God. You have union with the living God. And as we step into what does that mean, which sometimes we don't do it as much until we're in times of struggle. And this has been hell in many ways but it has also been life-giving in so many ways. And so whatever it is you're dealing with, sweet brother or sister in Christ, remember you're never alone, that you can breathe deep, you can rest in his perfect love, you can abide in Christ knowing that it's not about what you've done or what's been done to you. It's about what he did for us as us and that we have been co-crucified and co-risen with Christ. And sometimes we can say that, but then there's moments we sit with that and we go, oh, Oh my gosh, what does that mean for me in this situation? And who does God want to be for me that maybe I've never allowed him to be at any other time in my life? And in this time, there's an invitation for more. Y'all, we are made for more. He is so good. So with that, I'm going to wrap for now. And I hope I hop back on again soon. I love you for listening. I love you because of who you are, because of who he is, because he's put us all in him and we are one in Christ. So thank you. I hope no weird comments or anything like that. I'm just putting this out there because the world needs us at our best and at our times of struggle when we still see the best. All right, child, ciao or now.